Hey there folks and welcome to the Amazing Brick Network. I'm Tori Favreau and today we're doing the Lego Brickheads Monkey King. This was a really cool set and one I have been looking for for ages. Every time it was a Lego.com exclusive. Every time I've looked for this sucker, it has been sold out. I finally got my hands on it and I thought, you know what Tori, you know what you've got to do? You've got to bring this build to the people. Because if I had this much trouble getting this, chances are you guys are struggling to get it as well. Beautiful printed tiles on there to make like the front of the Monkey King's top. And gold like epaulettes there that you can see me making at the moment. This was a fun build. Some of the um, methods were a little bit irregular from the normal Brickheads builds, which I'm sure you might have seen me build before, which in, in and of itself was a bit of a oxymoron, what I just said then, so forgive me. If you saw me building other brickheads, the technique is very similar all the way through, but this is just the reinforcement for the headpiece here. And folks, if you do have time, please subscribe to the show. It does mean the world to me. It lets me know you're there, add a comment, and click that bell for notifications so as you find out when I'm posting new content. We've got a lot of builds headed to you, so... I can't wait for you to see them, along with videos with LEGO creators. I'm building the actual face structure here, which was really neat. I did like this, and it came with gold eyes. And that was really different too. There's so many different elements in this particular build. It sets itself apart from a lot of the other brickheads that you may have made in the past. And I do think that with some of these sets, they're getting more and more creative with them as time goes by. It's utterly brilliant, and I love the process. I love the fact that this, around the sides of the monkey's head there, you had the ear and then the hair coming around the side. And um, the Monkey King, I think, might be loosely based on Chinese mythology, like the Monkey God. Um, and I don't know if you've ever seen a show called Monkey Magic, but uh, I always think of Monkey Magic whenever I see this. And uh, Lego have put out a series called Monkey Kid. I don't know how well it's done, to be honest with you, but I do have a number of those sets as well that I'm looking forward to showing you. So that'll be something that comes up in the near future. Now, getting this together was a pain because I some of these instructions were a little bit weird in their printing and there was a one by two piece that I mistakenly used an outer part of the Monkey King's hair internally. So I actually had to deconstruct the whole thing in order to reassemble. Otherwise, it would have been this weird maroon looking piece that was left over. It was frustrating. I did leave it in. I haven't cut anything out here because I did want you to be able to see the whole building process. We're doing quite well, though. There wasn't anything overly challenging other than my eyesight that presented my own challenge for me. Otherwise, this would be over sometime before now. But uh, getting ready for these huge, like, they're not earpieces, but like the tie in the Monkey King's hair and the cape. These were really coolly done. It made me think of like the, the samurai with their, their different uh, hair pieces and horns that came off the helmets. It was just a lot of fun to build, and I'm super stoked that I could bring it to you today. Did you like this build? Have you built it yourself? I can't wait to find out what you thought of this. Please leave a comment below, and thank you so much for watching. Yeah.